Well, it is a cold, rainy spring day, and it's time for a little mad science experimentation. Now, if you watch my videos, you'll know I like to fish for catfish and carp. And when I'm bank fishing for catfish and carp, I like to chum out bait. But today, we're gonna try a Nerf gun. This right here is the Prometheus. It is the largest, most overpowered Nerf gun money can buy right now. And it'll shoot eight of these one inch foam balls every second. It is fully automatic, has a rechargeable battery, and it is a behemoth. I wanna see if I can use this fully automatic beast to shoot boilies out into my fishing spot. Let's go give it a try. Gosh, this thing is huge. Holy mackerel. There we go. Now we're gonna do a little demo here. I'm gonna yeah. use these Nerf balls here to show you what this thing does. Yeah. Run! <laughs> well, that's it. That's about 200 rounds. It burns through them really quick. How's your back, Nate? Nate, let me see your back. <laughs> oh, you got you got one right there. You got a little red mark right there. <laughs> so on an only partially charged battery, this thing has got a lot of kick and it moves a lot of balls really quickly. So what I want to know is what happens when you put boilies in it. Let me show you what boilies are. Now, if you don't know what boilies are, let me show you. They're these round manufactured carp baits that also work extremely well for catfish. They come in a variety of sizes or diameters. 15 to 20 mil uh, is the real common size. Now remember, 25 millimeters is approximately one inch. So 20 millimeters is slightly less than, than an inch. So these are just a little bit smaller than the Nerf balls. These are the, the uh, five kilogram bag strawberry crush. It's the instant action from Nash. And you can see I have got a ton of it. This right here is a strawberry crush 20 mil pop-up. So it's the exact same thing, only this is designed to be on your hook and it floats uh, and instead of these ones which sink. And anybody who carp fishes here in the States will tell you that boilies work really good on catfish. So now we just need to see, can this thing shoot boilies? Even though the boilies aren't the same size as the Nerf balls, I think this is gonna work because these Nerf guns are basically just pitching machines. There are two wheels that spin really fast and any ball that gets in between them that touches both wheels will shoot out there. And it's got a little conveyor belt and an auger that feed the pitching machine. So I think as long as we can fit it in the hopper and it fits between those two wheels, it should shoot them. Now load up some boilies. Okay. Ready? Well, that doesn't sound good. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I think I've made a little bit of a miscalculation. The balls are one inch diameter. The boilies are 20 mil. So I figured there might be a problem that they're too small. Actually, it's a problem that they're too big. When the ball goes between the two wheels, it squishes, okay, and then shoots out. The boilies don't squish. And so the wheels are too close together. I actually need a smaller boilie. Now they sell a lot of 15 millimeter boilies and I might have some in the garage. Uh, we might need to go test those out and see if those will work. Okay, I tore the garage apart and the only boilies I have are these 15 millimeter pop-ups. So we're gonna go try a handful of 15 mil pop-ups and see if they shoot. Okay. <laughs> Woo! All right, I got about three quarters of the way up the driveway. I'm gonna pace it out and uh, we're gonna measure the distance here. Five, six, seven. Well, I'm getting just shy under 40 yards. Four, 40 yards isn't terrible, but I can usually do better with a slingshot. So it's, that's, I call that disappointing. We gotta think of another way to do this. Well, I know a lot of you guys at home are thinking I should try a paintball gun to shoot boilies, but unfortunately, these boilies will not fit into a paintball gun 
and you kind of need to use fresh boilies to shoot them in a paintball gun. And it doesn't work particularly well and it breaks the paintball gun. And uh, So I am going to try to make my own boilie cannon. We're going to see how that goes. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and tap this with quarter inch MPT taps and let's see if that works. This is a pressure release valve so you can set the maximum pressure for safety so that the container will never go over 70 PSI or 80 or 90 or 100 or whatever. solenoid works it's holding some air but let's uh, fill it up and see if there's any leaks all right guys it seems to be holding air reasonably well uh, let's do a test fire with some boilies <laughs> that'll work that'll work just fine <laughs> all right guys i'm pretty pleased with how that worked i think we need to go out and test it in the field Ugh. all right these are the three rigs i'm using i've got a six ounce lead on a slider and then i've got a number six hook with a 20 mil bottom bait boilie and over here, I've got a four ounce lead on a fixed rig with a 20 mil pop-up. These are all the Nash uh, Strawberry Crush flavor. And over here, I got a 60 gram method lead with a 20 mil bottom bait on it and a number six hook. For the method lead, I've got some Panko Instant Oats and powdered Jello mixed with a little bit of water. And I'm gonna jam that on there. I can't cast method lead super far, otherwise the bait goes flying off. So I'm just going to put this one down the shore a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast out that direction towards that opposite shore and I'm going to see how close I can get to it. And that will be the target I use for the bully cannon. Turn on my bite alarms. All right, we got my rods out. Time to set up the boilie cannon. Let's see what it can do. Okay. All right, we got 60 PSI. Now let's see what it does, 60 PSI. Well, that would have been perfect for my second rod at the snag. So let's try that out. We're at about 58 PSI here. Oh, dead hit on. Man, that put that put them tight on where I needed them to be. That's great. Oh, dead on. 80% of them landed right where I wanted them to be. I can put about 12 or 15 boilies down the barrel and at 60 PSI, it looks like I'm hitting 50, 60 yards very comfortably and it's landing 80% of them in about a 10 to 15 foot circle, which is pretty darn tight. So it's nice and accurate, man. I can aim this thing right for my uh, bait and I'm dropping you know several large handfuls of bait right on my right on my uh my hook and so i'm i'm liking that but can i get out there that's the question can i get out to that 100 yard mark so uh 
We're gonna try reducing the number of boilies and upping the PSI a little bit and seeing what we can do. We're at about 70, about 78 PSI here. Solenoid is not working, it means it's probably jammed up too much. Lowered it to 65 PSI. Ooh, ooh! Okay, learned a couple things. At 78 PSI, the pressure was too high and it was jamming closed the solenoid, so it wouldn't activate when I hit the button. So I lowered it down to 65 PSI, and the five balls I shot, four of them fell just a little bit short of the target, and the fifth one went way further. So I think if I reduce the number of balls, I can down to like three or four, I can probably get them right on top of where I'm fishing, even at 100 yards. So a couple things. I raised the barrel up a little bit more, see if that helps. And I put this bag of boilies here so that it won't kick back and more of the force will go to shooting the boilies out. All right, that went really well. They all went right at about 100 yards. They just spread out quite a bit. I gave it more elevation and added seven or eight balls and uh, we're gonna see how this does. <laughs> a little more elevation did the trick. Well, one thing this is good for is getting rid of bass fishermen. Stay off my line, you jerks. That'll teach them. It also works good against jet skiers. <laughs> oh, look, and there's stupid ducks. I hate ducks. No! Yeah. Is that fun? That is fun. <laughs> let me aim it, let me aim it. Go for it. Go for it. It's fun. Well, listen, I'm over here trying to film and catch fish and I can't get anything done <laughs> because this is happening over here. Oh, my. Well, the axle's right there. And the wheel's right here. <laughs> yeah, just put some JB Weld on that. <laughs> That's gonna cost money. Yeah, I'm not sure what the right answer here is, but... Uh, Back of the leaf. I can do it. I guess I can't. You didn't, I didn't see this coming. Try to turn the wheel. Try to just turn the wheel. A little bit. Oh, did you? Hold on. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Yeah, go oh. forward to a shuffling go. speed. Oh. Oh, no. All right, hold on. Hold <laughs> So uh, this is the solution we landed on here. I use the word we very liberally. <laughs> so next time you go to the boat ramp and your wheels stay on, just be a little more grateful, you know? Well, I put in a few hours and got a few nibbles here and there, but no bites. Ugh. But the boilie cannon worked great and it didn't blow up and kill me. So I call that a win and no matter how bad I feel about not catching a fish, at least the axle to my boat didn't break off. <laughs> oh gosh, that puts things in perspective. But hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. Click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. And I will see you next weekend.